All right, folks, y'all already know what time it is. I'm on vacation, so I'm in a, I'm in a different undisclosed location. But, man, look, your boy Russell Westbrook, we signed three years, $85 million, man. I'm surprised. I can't even lie to you. I thought he was going to sweat it out with uh, for the rest of the season. And, um, you know, after he sweat it out the rest of the season, I thought he was going to go ahead and, 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 and test free agency, which is what I would have done probably. But, hey. You know, kudos to him, man. He he said, you know, I want to stay here in OKC. I want to build something, or at least, you know, I want to I want to give the illusion that I want to. I, I now, from what I understand about the contract, they've got him for two years, and then on that third year, you know, you get the player option. That's always. I wouldn't. I I would do the same thing. I wouldn't um, lock myself up for three years. You know, sight unseen, unknown. You don't even know if they got an interest in trying to win next year. But um, so so you know, a lot of things are uncertain. You got Enos Cantor, uh, who I feel like is going to be a very good at the small at the, at the power forward position. You got Stephen Adams. I think he's one of the best big men in the league, uh, especially defensively as, as far as rebounding goes. I think they're going to probably move Ro, uh, Ro, Robertson to the three, and then you're going to have Oladipo at the two, and uh, and Westbrook at the one. And so, like I said, you got you're you're very uncertain as far as things go. But uh, one thing you can be certain of, Russell Westbrook is right now in position to shoot that bitch until his motherfucking arms fall off. I'm talking about just go out there and buck him, buck him, buck him, fuck him. I'm talking about go out there. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. I'm talking about go out there and just be like, you know what? I don't care if you guys even show up. Matter of fact, y'all just show up because we need five. That's the only reason I need y'all to show up. We need five players. That's why y'all are here. But. As far as just making decisions and shooting this rock thing goes, oh, that's all Russie. Russie, I'm talking about it. He, he, it's going to be worse than Russell Simmons running this thing, man. Now, like I said, I don't, I don't know how it's really going to work out. I feel like uh, if Victor Oladipo can step up as a – if Victor Oladipo can step up as the, uh, as the viable number two option, then Robinson just played defense. They're they going to miss a beat because you can't replace a top five player – in this league like that, I mean, that easily. But at the same time, um, I don't think they're going to fall too far. Uh, I've seen, I think there'll be a top five seed in the West. And uh, and, and like I said, it, it, I really don't see how that whole Golden State Warrior thing is going to work out because KD don't play defense, dog. Like, not like Harrison Barnes played defense, right? And, I mean, you, you upgraded the position, but, you know, like I said, I don't think that's going to work out exactly how everybody thinks it's going to work out. Best case scenario, when when Clay or your boy decide to take a night off, uh, you know, KD going to step up. But worst case scenario, you know, you got Harrison Barnes that doesn't play defense, but, hey, he hits buckets. So, you know, it is what it is, man. I, I just don't think that thing in, in – in, Golden State is going to work out the way that, you, that everybody thinks it's going to work out. But, hey, you know, we're going to wait and see, man. That's all we can do. But like I said, man, kudos to Russell Westbrook. He says, you know, I, I'll stay here. I'm going to be here for the foreseeable future. I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to uh, build around me and put some things around, put some more around me. Um, really, all they need is a decent small forward, truthfully. And I think they're right in it. So, you know, uh, they probably could have traded small forwards and then they would have been you're not going to be the same team because, like I said, you can't replace a top five player, but you know it is what it is, man. But I, like I said, one thing is for certain, two things for sure. Russ is coming out here, and he might be the first person to average a triple-double since Oscar Robinson, man. I'm, I mean, he might have that type of magical season and be the MVP. Like, it could really happen like that. Now, like I said, it really is going to be contingent upon what the rest of his team does. But as we've all seen, Russ really don't give a fuck what the rest of his team do sometimes. Sometimes he just goes out there and gets buckets and, and, and makes assists and gets rebounds, and he's just the best player. I mean, arguably the best player in the world some nights. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying all the time. I'm saying some nights he is the best player in the world because he does that much for his team. The only problem is it does not always translate to wins. And in that case, you know, you can't be considered the best player in the world. You're just getting buckets. Okay, so we'll say as far as getting stats. He's he's probably the number one stat maker in the world sometimes. But you know it is what it is, man. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um kudos to Russ for making for 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 signing a long term contract, a longer term contract, re signing, but at the same time, I just don't know how it's gonna translate it. Do you guys think it's a mistake? Or do you feel like, hey, we should wait and see just like Russ does and then see what they can do next year in free agency and see if they can be right back up? 
I don't know. Maybe KD was holding him back. Maybe you feel that way, man. I don't know. But I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this month. Damn them guns still in there. And I got a shoot vlog coming up in a couple minutes, man. Um, we went to the trophy room in Orlando, man, so y'all don't want to miss that. I'm out. Peace. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, like the video, share the video, do all that good stuff, man. I'm gone for real this time. Peace.